Okay, I'm going to be moving kind of quick in this tutorial because I already recorded this tutorial, but I went over, I was about 12 minutes, and YouTube only lets me put up 10 minutes. So let's get started. Uh, Prezi.com, great site for making flash presentations. It's like um, a PowerPoint, but 3D. Uh, so this is a presentation I made there a couple months ago. Create it, and I just keep clicking next here, and it kind of goes through a little slideshow I made with screenshots and titles. Prezi is great. Uh, they have paid for accounts and free accounts. The free accounts you get uh, up to a gig of storage and then you just access it with your web browser. But I like using uh, open source software so I'm going to show you how to do a similar thing in Blender. It takes a little more effort but it can also be uh, much more customized. So let's jump into Blender here. I'm in the top view up here. You can get the top view by hitting uh, 7 on your number pad and I'm going to add a plane. I'm going to scale it on the x-axis, make it a little bit wider. Then I'm going to make this view here my UV image editor. And I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode here. And then I'm going to hit U unwrap. And then I'm going to open an image. And I'm just going to pick an image from a trip I took with my wife a couple months back. Uh, pictures, 2009, January, blah, blah, blah. OK, so here's the image. Now you can turn on textures here, and you'll notice that the image is upside down. Easy fix. Select all your vertices in the viewer here. Press R. Hold down control and rotate it 180 degrees. Perfect. Uh, we're going to scale this out a little bit more. There we go. It looked a little swoosh there. So now we have that. I'm going to Shift D to clone it. I'm going to move that down here and I'm going to rotate it a bit. And I'll Shift D and clone it one more time. Move it over here and rotate it. Now I'm also going to hit this package button here. Packages the image into the Blender file. That way it doesn't look for the link. So if you move this from one computer to another, everything's embedded into the Blender file. So real quick, I'm going to select this other one. Hit tab to go into edit mode. Open. I'm going to select another image. I'm going to package that. Tab to get out of edit mode. Select the other one. Tab to get into edit mode. Open. And I'll open up this image. Package it. Tab. Okay, so I've got some images. Let's work on titles. I'm going to hit spacebar and I'm going to go add text. I'm going to go to edit mode or editor down here, which is 9, uh, F9 that is, to get to this screen. Center the text and then tab to edit it. I'm just going to write my trip. <clears throat> and then I'm going to hit extrude it just a little bit, extrude it just a little bit, space so it's a little 3D. I'm going to grab it up here and I'm going to rotate a little bit. And then I can go into texture or materials here, add a material and give it a color. I'll make it red. And then I'm going to just shift D to clone it to make this quick. And I'll hit tab to edit it. And I'll just put down here the end. And so now we have some pictures and some text. You can put more pictures and more text in between each one. But uh, we need to get moving with the tutorial. So in the top view here, I'm going to zoom in on this image. I'm going to hit shift zero. That moves that view to our camera view. So our camera's been moved. I'm going to hit 7 to turn that back in the top view. Let's get started. I'm going to grab the camera. I'm going to move it over here. And then I'm going to grab it on the z-axis, move it out. I'm going to hit I to create a keyframe. I'm going to lock the location, rotation, and scale there. And then I'm going to go up 30 frames. I'll hit I to lock. But let's actually move it first. Grab it on the z-axis. I'm going to move it in and then rotate it a bit. And then I'll hit I to lock that again on frame 31. So I'm going to go up 30 more frames to 61. I'm going to grab that camera, move it over here, rotate it this way, hit I, lock that frame. Then I'm going to go down uh, just a little bit to uh, a keyframe in between. We'll say 45 is what I'll go to. And I'm going to grab it on the Z axis, move it out a little bit, give the camera a little more of a 3D view. You can spend more time doing this, get the movements you want. Um, so now I'm going to. I have 61 set as a keyframe. I'm going to go up 30 frames and then I'm going to rotate, grab, zoom in a little bit, lock a keyframe there. And I'm just going to continue doing the same thing for everything we have in a shot. You can choose how many keyframes you like in between each shot and use that number of keyframes. Oops. Lock a keyframe here, rotate a little bit, lock the keyframe, grab it, move it over here, zoom out a little bit, I lock that, one, two, three, rotate it around, and I'm doing this real fast, and just playing around a little bit, you'll learn what number of keyframes you like. 
a little bit more to do right here. We're going to rotate this out, grab it on the z-axis, move it back, I, and then we will move up a few more keyframes, rotate, I. I hope I remember to move the keyframes. Yeah, let's, uh, I kind of forgot to move the keyframes here, so I'm just quickly going to throw one in here. It's going to move by this pretty fast in our presentation. But, so I have the camera movement, I can hit Alt-A, let's do that over here, and you can see the movement of the camera. But now we have to set, so we can control the movement with our uh, key presses. So I have the camera selected on the keyframe. Uh, let's see, I'm going to add, 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 connect these hooks, and I'm going to say keyboard, I'm going to make that a space bar. And then we'll just go IPO. And our last keyframe was probably 200 something. We just want to set way beyond that. We're going to say 500. So now we also have to set this to uh, loop end. And also text doesn't show up in game mode because it's considered a um, path. So let's hit uh, Alt C and make that text a mesh. And we'll select this text. And you'll have to do that Alt C mesh for all your text. So now I can hit P, and if I hold down space bar, I can move, and when I go of the space bar, oh, it did keep, it kept moving. Uh, loop end, oh, loop stop is what I want, sorry. Loop stop. So now you can press space bar, and when you let go of space bar, it stops. Hit space bar again, it continues. So you can do your own little presentation like so. And you notice the, the picture gets a little dark right there. That's because we don't have enough lighting over there. So we'll just grab our lamp over here. We'll shift D to clone it and we'll move it over here. And now we can hit space bar to go through. So that's a quick, simple little way to make a presentation similar to Prezi in Blender. And uh, I'm going to stop there, but there's going to be a second part to this to go into a little more detail. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, visit filmsbychris.com for more tutorials like this.